no one has any doubts anymore that we live in a historical momentum today. And it is a momentum which is best to be described as a certain interregnum, uh, uh, as Gramsci famously put it, uh, where the old world is dying and the new world cannot be born yet. And this is the times of morbid symptoms. We could have seen these morbid symptoms all across Europe this summer. Uh, uh, it started with, uh, uh, with Italy, with the refugee boats which were prohibited to enter Italian ports. Uh, uh, then we have seen the right-wing violence in German cities. And uh, at the top of this, uh, uh, during this summer, the ministers of Italy, Austria and Germany announced that they are forming something which they call now the axis of the willing. Of course it sounds familiar because we had this kind of axis already in the 20th century. But if Nazism and Fascism uh, is going to rise again, because it never died, but if it is going to rise again in the 21st century, it will acquire many various different forms than the ones we were used to. Of course it will have some uh, old-fashioned forms and this is uh, people in black beating immigrants on the streets, but it will also acquire as uh, uh, various examples from Facebook to Cambridge Analytica showed us new forms which will be much more dangerous than the forms we have seen before. This is only one of the reasons why we should all gather on the 13th of October at the initiative Unteilbar and this is one of the reasons why the Democracy in Europe movement 2025 is supporting this initiative and many of our activists will be present in many European cities because what is happening in Germany today, what is happening in Italy, what is happening on the borders and in refugee camps, it's not something what is constrained to a national state, it is something which concerns all of us who are Europeans and it concerns the future of Europe itself.